I'm Mike Belsito, co-founder of eFuneral. And this video is going to focus on something that is a part of every funeral service today, just about, and uh, pretty much always has been. It's flowers. Flowers is, it's, it's one of those things that maybe we don't associate with funerals all the time. Maybe we do. Regardless, it's certainly a beautiful part of a funeral ceremony when you see uh, you know, massive arrangements laid out and usually the flowers are very beautiful. Uh, but did you know that there's meaning behind flowers? And in fact, oftentimes if an arrangement of flowers can be chosen uh, and arranged based on the meaning of the specific flower. So we're going to go through some of those meanings in this video. And this way in the future, when you're putting together an arrangement, you can keep that in mind. So the first type of flower we'll talk about is the carnation. And really the meaning behind the carnation, it depends on the color. For instance, red carnations signify strength. White carnations signify truth and innocence. So you'll find that often uh, maybe at a funeral service for a child or a younger person. And then there's pink carnations. And they signify remembrance, which is something that's certainly a common theme at most funeral services. Then there's the chrysanthemum, or, or the mum, if you will. And usually that's associated with grief. Uh, some people would also associate that flower with the concept of truth as well. So that's another flower that you would find uh, common in a funeral arrangement. Next there's the lily. And lilies usually signify peace, purity, even majesty. So certainly something that uh, Un, you know, not surprising that something like that would be included uh, in a, an arrangement at a funeral service uh, when it has those meanings behind it. Uh, then we'll talk about roses for a minute because same with uh, the carnations, depending on the color of the rose could have a different meaning. For instance, white roses, similar to the white carnations, they signify innocence, even youthfulness. So again, something you might find at a funeral service for a younger person. Then there's red roses. Now, we all associate love usually with red roses, and that's true. Um, however, respect is usually another uh, common theme that goes along with red roses as well. And then there's the pink rose, and usually pink roses signify grace. So something, again, that you might commonly find uh, in a funeral arrangement. So hopefully it's helpful knowing the meaning behind some of these flowers. You know, you see these flowers all the time in arrangements, but now next time you're maybe ordering an arrangement or putting together an arrangement for uh, a funeral service, you could keep some of these meanings in mind and, and maybe that'll have an impact on how you put together that arrangement. 